how will it be manze it has already been kama k kama kawa john duty hapa kwenye airwaves on life maju buda the boss kuna msemi ameniuliza pale swali moja fundamental ukijana anapiga mboka ya nasin pale kenya anapiga job yake clean anaingiza ngiri so so if you're making a hundred thousand in kenya you are in the medical field in kenya making over a hundred k and you're doing well you feel like you're fine and you are in kenya should you pursue the greener pastures maju because kuna mse ameuliza hii swali kwa sababu kuna mse ako huku maju anamwambia buda unaingiza ngiri so na uko mtaani hakuna haja don't ustoke mtaani we pumzika kwa mlepo tulia now huyu jamaa ananiambia shapiga shughuli nao asema agents uh, ama agents ule atawasema yolo uh, through hizo jobs za medical alafu washamorganizea kila kitu akifika huku ni kuingia tu nini mboka now pia mimi sikuwa fan sana if you're making of 100k in Kenya sikuwa fan sana ukuja upasu green na pastures maju lakini kuna caveat now if you're making a 100k in Kenya na uko job ya tech ama medical ama tu job yoyote iko jiulize swali kama wako willing kukugea 100,000 mtaani uku mayolo atakugedo ngapi hiyo ni swali moja nafaa kujiuliza tena angalia job security kama uko uko comfortable saa hii na job huko unajua kama ni kazi ya serikali unajua una make ngiri so unajua hiyo ni forever unajua hiyo kutokwa ni ni ngumu mshahara itakoeneingia na uko hapo for miaka na mikaka hiyo ni story nyingine lakini kuna fanya kwa hizi private hospitals na unaingiza ngiri so economy kidunda na unadunda hiyo ni challenge nyingine. So, mimi nimekamka kwa sababu hiyo swali nimeangalia advantages na disadvantages za kubaki mtaani ukiwa kio ukiwa ukichukua hiyo do ama upasu greener pastures maju ukuja upasu hiyo nini hiyo uh, hustle. Now, kuna reasons why you should actually think about it. If you're making a 100,000 in Kenya na uko kwa job ya medical in my opinion kwao wase uko job za medical huko majuma hivi wanaza intervene kidogo watu ambia perception yao ama, ama opinion yao based on his story but in my opinion unafaa kuchukua opportunity ya abroad and this is why first of all if our my agents wamekuorganizea metropole ama whatever this agents are eh? wamekuorganizea ukuje huko America ukufanye kazi ya medical kuna advantages kwaje kuna contract What of, most of the time contract na kwaga between 2 and 3 years unaambiwa ni aje wewe utakuja ukuwe mtu wetu in short you cannot go work for a different hospital you cannot pursue other opportunities within that time frame but bado penye unakwaga ume agree na hawa agents ina kwaga ni do fit sana ina kwaga ni do fit in fact you will be earning more than the average american huku um, uh, US ukiingia imagine umetoka Kenya tu hivi umekam hapa hivi umeanza ku make do kushinda mse amekuwa hapa hivi so the advantages e the ad, one of the advantage is mshahara yako itaenda juu kushinda average american now um, within that time frame the disadvantage ni kunaweza kuwa maybe unalipwa say what's the average let's give it 500 dollars a week um yeah hata tuseme tu unalipwa say not 500 dollars a week let's give it a thousand no let's give it 1500 oh shit <laughs> nilikuwa nime underestimate let's give it at least 1500 a week um for the average mseme kama nazo agencies the average american atakuingizia maybe 4000 a month no mseme piga ma hours kibao sana right and your middle class in short kona lipo 1500 a week it's easy for you to make over 50000 a year which is not even like wale wa say hey, poor the poorest people make around maybe 20 25 even 14000 a year so work you are over 50000 a year uko fine mshara yako imeongezeka so hiyo ni kitu inafaa kukufanya ina kumotivate uh, upasu hiyo opportunity na huyu jamaa alikuwa anasema kuna msia kuku majua amemwambia uko uko na ngiri so mtaani pumzika 
kuna kuna reason na kuna reason mbona alisema hivyo na kuna disadvantages pia za kuacha opportunity mtaani ukuje huku for another opportunity na by the way majuu yu bamba mse mwenye alitoka ocha sana <laughs> ama ulitoka ghetto ndio utabambika na majuu in short kama ulikuwa gahauna kabisa ulikuwa gawai ni safara majuu itakubamba sana juu hata ile hardship yenye wasi uona kama ni hardship kwako itakuwa ni hardship utakuwa unaenda job unapiga jo, unapiga hustle ukirudi jioni unapiga hesabu ndio yenye umefanyia kazi una nice kwa sababu hata kama ilikuwa ngumu ungekuwa mtani hiyo doha ungekuwa nayo but kule msi alikuwa shaka funga when get kali wewe ulikuwa msi mtani uko fine ukuja mayolo utaanza kulalamika sana juu unacheki kama hiyo sacrifice you worth it but comes on gire so mtaani na comedical wacha tuendelee reason nyingine ya pili why it's important for you to pursue that opportunity green card now ukiwa job za medical uh, pharmaceuticals and the medical industry US ni a billion dollar industry hizo ni jobs yani hiyo ni job hautawai hawaita iko sa opportunities za kuwak. Now because of the need wasi wengi ni wagonjwa, wasi wengi ni kula burgers, wasi wengi ni kukuleza ma fast food, ku smoke, stress levels ziko juu anxiety, depression, imta wasi ni wa ruaru mbaya, wasi ni wagonjwa mbaya. Unacheki? Na nilikuwa na discuss hata na colleague jana nilikuwa namwambia the difference between Africa and the West is that Africa unaweza kuwa ni maskini na uko healthy. Unasikia mwili wako ukiwa fit, unasikia mind yako ukiwa fit, unalala fit usiku bila kufikiria. The West wase huko material things watu wako nazo lakini uko kwa keja fiti dinga uko kwa parking ziko kila kitu iko fine lakini wezi dose wezi dose fiti juu ya ile pressure ya ku maintain hiyo life yenye ya imta so because of these factors unapata depression levels ziko high anxiety levels ziko high lifestyle diseases ziko high so the more people are getting sick the more you as a medical practitioner uko kwa busy uko kwa mboka so because of your need ya wasi wengi wenye kwa med wasi kuingia kwa medical serikali upe na greeni ukikaa hapa tu 2 years na hiyo work visa yako you are able to apply a green card and i will give you options on how to apply for a green card ukikuja na hizo agencies after 2 years in fact some of the agencies will even assist to apply for you so unaangalia Yesu mkuja ni wa visa but ukishia pata green card buda the boss sasa wewe the sky is the limit american dream ni yako sasa kuna maliwezi shoot hata ukitaka ku run for office unaweza kuwa the vice president wa hii country once umepata social security number aje nini unafaa una kula strategy yako acha kuangalia hiyo tu contract umepewa sawa but at the end of the day what am i gaining from me contract objective yako inafaa ukifika hapo hivyo wapi kujenga hiyo contract ya miaka tatu ni sawa wewe vumilia kwa mnyonge hiyo time na by the way hiyo time si hiyo contract unaumia i have an example i had a neighbor na hiyo video i think nilifanya last year last year around june nilifanya hiyo video na ujirani yangu uh, saini travel nurse uh, uku us na hiyo ni point number three. now once umekuja umepata green card yako na contract yako inaisha na sometimes hiyo lazima iisha after 2 years kama huyu jamaa kwa kuna ile repercussions kuna consequences of not fulfilling the term of your contract so the what happened huyu jamaa alikuwa na contract ya miezi miaka tatu ametoka huko Philippines kufika huko after kupiga miaka mbili akona vile hiyo job iko na maziwa mabeste wake wenye ni manas hosi zingine na si wajakuja na hizo yani washamaliza the contract yao ama wajakuja na hizo ma agencies do anyo anaingiza versus do anaingiza akona hapa wana enjoy so the consequences za ku default kwa hiyo contract i think ilikuwa 9000 dollars at the time uh, kwa hiyo contract yake akasema ash ile do nime make already niko na savings za over 9000 dollars akaambia uh, wase wacha tu ni default contract due to reasons unforeseeable circumstances akawajenga 9000 dollars zao jamaa kareleziwa na hiyo time akiwa akiwaambia ataki hiyo contract alikuwa ashapata green card alikuwa ashamaliza 2 years sasa ashapata green card so ye, kutoka tu hivi akaingia sasa kwa hosi za kawaida kama citizen wa kawaida ama uh, resident wa kawaida mwenye yuko under any foreign contracts do yake ikaongezeka over time akakuja akaongeza masomo akakuwa travel nurse and that's where the money is in fact hiyo ngiri so unalipo sahi a month hata hujatoa expenses hujatoa tax hiyo ni do utakuwa unaenda hapa Kenya as a nurse in 3 days in 3 days siku tatu hizi unaweza unda ngiri so very fast as a nurse hapa hivi so angalia hivyo sasa nurse ukiwa travel nurse 
kunda half a million Kenyan shillings in a week sio kitu ngumu sana. So kama money is your motivation, hiyo tena ni reason nyingine. Objective yako for any decision una make, wewe angalia uko mbele ni nini? Ni smaller sacrifices that uta make kwa cha familia yako, kwa cha watu wako, kwa cha stare zako ndogo ndogo kula cha posmoki, kwenda hivi kula maindi choma, kukula mutura. Hizo ni vitu utaiona tena. Sasa hiyo sasa hiyo but ukifika huku unaanza kuona vile zilikuwa essential kwa maisha yako. So hizo stare ndogo ndogo if ndo unataka ku for go lazima uko unajua why. Your why kama ni money is your motivation for medical ganji itakuwa and stay with me maybe picture ni my paint so rosy unaona kama itakuwa tu nyoe a a kwa mlepo uone show okay so objective yako ilikuwa nini ya kwanza ilikuwa kuingia tu mayolo kwanza na hiyo agency na hiyo contract ukuja uka white green card after two years after green card umekuwa nini travel nurse unakula strategy za kimataifa sasa kuna job assurance Huku unaweza especially generally all jobs huko ziko available but medical wewe ni hot cake anywhere you go any state you go unaweza hata enda Idaho Idaho ni Arusha go ya mawarundo zinapanda gwa huko yani ni unaweza enda any remote state remote town na utakuwa utakuwa na un top dollar utakuwa unaenda California kwenye maisha iko juu wewe una un top dollar kwa huko kwa tech huko kwa medical huko kwa um, job yote yenye nitajiskill in short acha job za kuandikwa atienda tu ukuwe sijui kwa warehouse ama sijui job yote yenye nitajiskill that uh, in short huko mayolo iko na top dollar so job assurance hizo reason nne zinafaa kukumotivate nimeongelea nini quadruple uta, uta triple income yako very fast this is that that is one of the reason why you should pursue the opportunity number two, utawai green card after two years for anyone who knows the importance of green card ni utapata hiyo permanent residency na apart from permanent residency utapata kitu inaitwa social security number which sasa inakufungulia mngola za kupasu dreams zako zote hata si lazima uko hiyo medical kama how we like mza watoka um, na of course after five years with green card unzapata citizenship pata citizen, citizenship wa US sasa wewe ni wapi utaki uwezi enda. Si unaweza tu enda mahali popote unataka. In fact hata unaweza watoka huko na siki huko Middle East sasa wanalipa fiti. Ukisikia maisha ya US imekubona ushawa hii citizenship, unaweza enda country yoyote i work. Uh, alafu unaweza kuwa travel nurse na kuna job assurance. Four reasons why you should pursue it. Now, kuna disadvantages. Na huu msemo yako US alikuwa advice usikuje huko kuna 100k mtaani. Maybe mimi naelewa. Kuna wale gatekeepers. Kuna wale wasiwatakagi mse mwingine apenye sana ama mse mwingine akuje afaulu ama wana hiyo opportunity iko huku. Kuna wao na ama gatekeepers karada yao sana. Sasa zingine ukiuliza mse yako US for advice, jiulize kama kuna best interest zako. Kwa sababu kama uko mtaani na kila mse anajua vile shida za mtaani ziko na umekuja huku umeona vile maisha ni tofauti, mimi sidhani. And uh, by the way, the only reason I would discourage anyone kukuja majua ama kupasu dreams zake mayolo ni kama ana chini ya maji. Kuna kam chini ya mawoyes unakuwa undocumented, utakula shida, utakuwa unatamani kurudi mtaani, utakula shida mimi sikudanganyi. Na wase mimi naongelea story ya kula shida kama una karatasi, kama una documents, I mean kama green card ama any documented as a documented immigrant. Wase wanasema oh, kuna wasi wa kuku chini ya maji na wanaingiza do fit chini ya table. Ah. At some point, you do it's not worth it. What you go through, do weze kumanage, kusavavi ya maisha ya uku, chini ya maji, uh, it's not worth it. Hapo ndo unajua gapesa si kila kitu. For what reason? At the expense of your own mental health, physical health, peace of mind, uh, uh, chini ya maji, ndi oneza discourage. But kuna kuja the right way, for by all means, kama ma, eh, ma ministers watoto wa ma ministers wasi wa magetikali wanapasuigi hizi opportunities za kuja abroad the right way wakuja wapate document sembu se wewe mse wenye ni hustler so unless mtu ni gatekeeper kuna reason anaweza kukataza but at the same time umse anakukataza kuna anaweza kuwa ameona vitu fulani zenye mimi naweza resonate nazo na nisemeye mwenyewe kusema ukweli kama uko satisfied au una familia uh, au una bills hawishi maisha expensive maybe kakeja kako nika 15000 um 
hauna wasi wanakutegemea haujajeka class za juu in short after uh, all factors is me align unaweza save 50k in a month so then you na uko na peace of mind unaweza enda mtani wacha uone shosho yako unaweza yani uko na tio peace of mind ya kukaa home by the way so zingine unaweza sema all that glitters is not gold ama wacha mimi nitosheke na ile kidogo niko nayo if you're not hungry enough uh, you, my yolo by the way is a, us is a young smart us is a young man sports yani ni sport ya mse ya konjaa na maisha unta kwenda huko uko nkeyo world upate mado fit mado haraka uji sacrifice ulale ulie machozi kutoke ujenge maploti uinvest yani ujieke kwa ngori ndo uate dream yako hiyo ndo US for you hakuna gastarez ni wasu wana kwa hollywood but kama wewe uja si kila msia na kwa gaivo kuna wala wase tu andaka kidogo yao na watulie hawataki pressure kama wewe ni huyo mse unaingiza ngeve so come tani na hii ni kwa, kwa, eh, kwa sababu ya hizi reason nyingine ukuja US utakuwa overworked especially medical and for all those in the medical field maybe one za tuambia utakuwa overworked ah hiyo do wenye anakupea mingi akupea hiyo do mingi juu wewe ni mrembo ama wewe ni handsome hapana wanakupea do juu wewe ni punda na kwamba utapigishwa mboka uone kama yani unaonewa and in short hata hiyo ganja utakuwa unakumbuka uko nayo na uchigima vida hapa hivi za manasi zenye wanapiga hizo mboka saa hii man vile wanalalamikaga uko kwa hosi na hosi ko busy na kwa hiyo flow mko kana swawili si ene watatu na sasa hizo kila kila room iko na wase iko na wale wasi wa ICU kuna wasi wengine wale tu wenye uh, wamelazwa kwa kitanda kuna wale wasi wa kukam yani tu iko busy na labda mko na swawili na maybe si ene watatu si ene wa, si ene ni wase ni madotcom ni wasi wa yang hata ikuambiwa unamwambia kitu kidogo anakutoka anakuambia si lazima mimi niko hapa kwa hiyo sasa si ene shida si ene ni Unafanya CNA unalipo 15 or 17 dollars an hour na ukienda work gas station wawa ama sijui work McDonald's ni the same amount na CNA ufanyishwa kazi mingi so kwa sababu hiyo ku kwa uh, burnt out ku overworkiwa unapata attitude zao ni tofauti so at the end of the day nani atalaumiwa ata kitu iki go wrong kwa flow si wewe nas so unapata sometimes you will be overworked mpaka hiyo ganji itakuwa worth it sana lakini nimesema nini hii mtani young man or young woman's sport hapa nataka mse resilience mse kichwa mbovu kimse yani ngori itakaa maseme kimangoto hamtanilemea na endelea kupiga hiyo hustle disadvantage ya pili ni utakuwa overused yani utakuwa utatumika vibaya sana especially na ma patients wachana hata na management za hosi achana na wasi wamekuandika hiyo ni kawaida either uko job yoyote mzee amekuandika job ya kuandika utatumiwa vibaya but the disadvantage of being a medical practitioner in america ni entitled patients as opposed to mtaani mtaani unaenda ga hosi unapata tu msana kuongelesha vile unataka nurse doki wama practitioners wa Kenya wewe ongelesha tu patients vile wanataka enda Kenya hata saa hii uone vile tu nurse atakubongesha vile unataka nurse utaita nurse kulenge uh, utaita uh, doki ama whatever mchota na kwa hiyo hosi akuongelesha nikana kudu ya favor na sometimes ama ama medical practitioner wa Kenya says wala umpia hawa kwa underpaid overworked na resources ni scarce inaeleweka ni pressure za job but hizo resources tu vile ziko scarce ama wako overworked same concept in apply hadi maju ukifika maju most of the time ni patients ni wengi practitioners ni wachache na kuharibia ni au patients at least Kenya ukiwa na ganji unaweza access higher healthcare ukiwa na do unaweza enda hosi yenye wanakushughulikia yenye wanakuangalia kwa macho hivyo na kuuliza what is wrong wanakupima nini nini kama una ganji unataka hizi mahusi za bure lawama so huku US wasi wengi healthcare is so expensive wasi wengi wako na insurance now patient amekam ako na insurance yake insurance yake inamlipia maybe almost kila kitu Asema ni mwana meno, asema ni mwana macho, asema mkonyo, asema magoti, yeye hakuna kitu mfuko yake inatoka. So, the level of entitlement na hawa patients especially walami, especially upata na walami wajinga. Unajua si wanaonaga ile tulikuwa gandele mentality tukiwa toi ati mtoto akona ngeuzi nyeupe ni msemu mjanja. Zi 
walami wengi huko na wasema mblay na wasi entitled na wasi wanaona ngozi yao au kukaribu kuona god so ukiona na ukiona ukiongea na mse mwenye mentality yake na msho yeye na Mungu anakaribiana juu ya ngozi yake ana wezi reason na yeye at the same time ase wanaweza ku treat vibaya nilikuwa nacheki ma vidadi ma patients wengine wanatemea di practitioner sama ma CNA mate mtu ana ana behave tu vile anataka juu ako entitled you will take care of them na kumbuka job fulani nilipiga gapale Texas na hiyo time nilikuwa napiga hiyo job um, uh, kwa hosi ya military so unapata hiyo hosi kama ni hosi ya jeshi wasi wengi wanakuwa ni veterans wenye una serve ama or their families in short msiana kuja tu kwa hiyo hosi ni kama ni veteran ama, ama mtu uh, mwai serve ama mtu wa familia yake so kulikuwa boom za as well kwa na two conditions zake but umze alikuwa na madharau live like angeweza kutembea angeweza kujipeleka washroom angeweza kujivalisha angeweza kufanya anything everything yenye mtu atu anaweza jifanyisha anaweza hata oga anaweza ji sustain yeye mwenyewe lakini tu angesimama mahali akojoe tu mahali kwa kona alafu kuita kwambie wipe this akwambie fagia hii ama osha hapa hivi angekaa tu kwa kitanda hivi ana watch two tv una cheki tu amenuka tu hivi ana ana release eh? ana jirilize ana jirilize ana jirilize anafanya shughuli yake haja kubwa yake yote anamaliza alafu anafinya bell anafinya bell ukidhani ni emergency anakuja anakuambia na madharau anakuambia hii place inanuka nioshe nibadilishe nini nini anafanya hizo vitu zote kwa sababu ile entitlement anakwanza upatane na veteran veteran huku mayole wojisikia sana <laughs> in any case hata tumeongea story ya veteran kidogo juzi nimekuwa uh, nimepeleka gari badilisho tu oil so wasi wengi wakisha serve wana wakaona ile pride homo serve kwa jeshi umsa akakama mpiga kangepa kama ndiko hapo uh, iraqi freedom ali serve kwa iraqi freedom ni mzai anakaa huku machuani Alafu kulikuwa alikuwa mzai fulani hapo hivyo anakaa tu yani military man ni mrefu ni ameunga ametulia tu kwa kiti hapo na mambo mengi. So mimi nimetulia nishasaviwa na ngoja dinga yangu imaliziwe. Huyo mzai mwenye amekaa mla Iraqi Freedom, Kofi Iraqi Freedom akaanza kusema in short alikuwa anataka mambo yake yarakishwe na kuna before hata mimi nifike hapo kulikuwa wasi wengine wawili. So kulikuwa wasi watatu mbele yake. But alikuwa anataka dinga yake yondo anasema Yaani unachukua na request lakini kama ana force issues. Huyo Jamal kwa mekaa chini akachekia kofi yake akaanza akamwambia oh, thank you for your service. Eh akamwambia akaanza kubongezwa ma story tuliendaga wapi tukafanya nini. Kumbe mse alikuwa amekaa chini pia yeye ni veteran. Au mse pia akaanza kumpea ma story zake akaanza ni zile ma experiences za kitambo watu wawili ni wazae. So kuna hiyo level of course of pride but kuna ile level ya entitlement. Bloom Jamali huyo mzee ako na kofia alimaliza kubanja akaanza kupiga huko kijana ako pale kwa counter pressure anamwambia ati mimi nimezeeka mguu yangu ni messed up siwezi simama sana siwezi kaa sana itabidi ucheze kaa wewe. <laughs> so kama hiyo tu level of entitlement iko kwa service kama kundi wa gari. Sembuse kwa insurance. Kwenye mzee ako na insurance big ya kampuni big. So wasi wanaumiaga in that case ni wasi practitioners medical practitioners kwa sababu ama patients wako entitled and they are not taking care of themselves ni wazito kuwageuza ni watu wazito they are on a smoke mafegi wanaishi tu life mbaya ile life ya kujiachilia kabisa so unapata huu msee hata umfanyie nini leo kesho ata almost in the same condition na si hata ana ku request yani si same ya ku request your service but are you decent about it especially kawa ngozi yako ni nyeusi kuharibia kuwe na accent kuharibia tu kuwe na accent inakuwa gani kuna vile unajaribu kumsaidia but anakuona kawa ni mseless so hizo ni vitu uta, uta, uta have to deal nazo as you go by job um kama ni mtu wa kukam pia ni challenge nyingine mtu wa kukam ni mtu wa kukam unaonekana ga like when immigrant na hujui vitu mingi you sometimes ukibonga na patients mtaanza kupiga story alafu realize aye uelewi uh, kitu anajaribu kukuambia so vitu kaizo kwa wewe ni msawa kukam na wewe ni mgeni kuna zile challenges za kuwa msi mgeni on top ya yeah, challenges za kuwa overused overwhelmed overworked na ku deal na watu entitled so hizo tu ni zile changamoto za job zenye lazima ujiulize mimi ni ready to go through hizi vitu before ni watch a piece of mind kwa jimtani kusema ukweli Watu unaona kama mtani nyinyi mna overwakiwa nyinyi ama overwakiwaji. First of all mtani mnaweza fanya vile mnataka. Unaweza vuta job yes. 
unaweza vuta hiyo tu ndio risk ya mtaani na fear ya mtaani ni kuvutwa job na kuna opportunities huko mayolo especially kwa ushawai green card na uh, uko na license yako hata ukivutwa job kesho utakuwa job ingine hakuna hata kuchoma cv hakuna zile za tio nilivutwa hapa job sisi tafuta job ingine huku job zitakuwa tu roller coaster inaendelea so i think what you should be asking yourself are you willing to forgo if you are happy your peace of mind your secu your, your job security if maybe you work for a job secure company and are you willing to come and deal with the bullshit especially bullshit ya racism bullshit ya ya walami tu uh, uko ready kwa hizo sleepless nights nini but the, at the same time uzuri tena ya huko nilisikia nilikuwa na best yangu na kuaga nasca um, thank ni kiambu alikuwa ananiambia sometime hizo job za kanairo unaweza kuwa in a private hospital na haulipwi unapiga job ama mshahara inachelewa ama kidogo kidogo unakatwa mshahara sasa hizo ndo ngori za mtaani huku mayolo uovowakiwe utemewe mate ufanyiwe nini ganji yako itakam check itakam so in a nutshell if money is your motivation ingia mayolo acha kuambiwa at you if you are earning over 100k it's not worth it in a nutshell finally and finally angalia bigger picture kubali kusafa for a short period of time for the biggest picture yenye utawapata green card utakuja upate citizenship citizenships kumoja na hiyo job ya medical sio mwisho wa njia unaweza badilisha careers ufanye what you want ukishafika until next time mimi wako John Duty kwenye life maju remember this is your number one channel about everything on life maju mashallah